Okay, the switch in this circuit has been position one for a long time before moving to position two at the position. Okay, so for a long time, um, basically this has been open and the switch was here. So we have this circuit and then, at, then we switch it here. So the problem wants us to find I zero, which is here. Okay, so for t less than zero, this is the equivalent circuit. Then what happens to the capacitor? The capacitor will be open circuit. Okay, and the I zero. So what's I zero? I mean, because it's open circuit, I zero is zero. So I zero at zero minus is zero, right before the switch. And uh, let's see. Um, I don't know if we need V zero here or not later, but we just we want to find it. What is V0? Okay, so this is open circuit. Uh, so I0 is zero. So this dependent source, the voltage of that is five times zero. So that would be zero here. And because the current here is zero also, there is a, oops. Yeah, so there's a zero here. Wow. And there's no current here, there's also zero. So all of them are zero. So the, we have only 15 volt here. So the, all the 15 volt will be here. So 15 volt. Okay. So I can do a KVL, we just don't see it directly. Plus V0 minus 15 plus zero plus zero equals to zero. Okay. So V0 is 15 volt. So this is the initial condition or right before the switch change its position. So now at time equal to zero, we move the switch to position two. Now let's look at the circuit at zero plus. So at position two, this is the circuit, this, is the, this will be open. So my circuit, Okay. Five I zero. Five zero. And fifteen O. Okay. And this is I zero also. This is. V0. Okay, perfect. Uh, so V0 is the voltage across the capacitor. And as we know, the uh, voltage of the capacitor doesn't change suddenly. So therefore, I can say V0 at 0 plus equal to V0 at 0 minus equal to 15 volt. I know that. And uh, how about I0 at 0 plus? Uh, I can do it. Simple KVL here, given that at zero plus this voltage is 15 volts. So this KVL will tell me so the okay, KVL will go up here and up. KVL um, 15 times I0 plus 5 I0 plus 15 times 0. 20i is 15, i zero, i not equal to negative 7.5. Oh, are they uh, kilo? Oh, no. oh, okay. So this is exactly the current at zero plus, right? after 
Let me change the switch for the shadow switch. Okay, very good. And uh, so now the problem wants us to look at this as t greater than equal to zero and find i zero for all the time. And this is our second, right? Um, so this is our second. We still have the second. Um, okay. Um, so it's an RC circuit. I need to also calculate the time constant, r equal to r equal on time c. And after I calculate that, because I know the initial conditions for the current and voltage, I should be able to write the whole equation. So therefore, let's look at the calculating r equivalent. We'll find the r equivalent for this second 15 of i i zero. And because we want to find the r equivalent from the perspective of the capacitor, I have to just remove the capacitor. And I have to look at here to find the r equivalent, right? But then because we have the dependent source, we know that one way of handling that is to put a test source, Vs, Is. And then our equivalent would be yes or no. Okay, perfect. So it's a just one simple circuit. Let's do a KVL. Uh, starting from, let's say here, going to the left. Negative, like this case. Uh, negative five I O. So I'm hitting the negative, that's why I did that, plus. 15 times is minus v of s equal to zero, but also um, what is uh, what is i zero? I zero is this guy. So I zero and I S are negative function. Degree I zero is negative of I S. So I replace it there. Minus five times minus I S plus fifteen I S equal to V of it. That gives me twenty I S equal to V S. So V S over I S is that's our R equal. Yeah. So you can just please note that the I zero was here um, on the circuit. Um, here, I zero was this current, right? So that's why I put I zero here. I'm also going through the 50 more. I see. And that's in the opposite direction of I S. So I S is going this way. I zero is going that way, basically. Okay, perfect. So now, <clears throat> how was our equivalent 20 times capacitance, which is 2 micro, which is 40 microsecond. This is tau. So eventually, the I at T, I0 at T, is equal to the initial condition, is this. Minus 7.5 e minus t over tau 
is 40 micro. This is 40 Gerda equal to zero. So this is basically what the problem wanted us to find. Okay, so I should also mention here again that um, here, um, because there was no voltage source after the switching, so this has happened after with the switching, right? So there's, there's no independent voltage source. So when there's no independent voltage source, there, therefore the, um, uh, it's gonna be a natural response. We don't have an independent source. Um, so because it's a natural response, you don't have to look at the I infinity or V infinity, but anyway, if, even if you do that, that's fine. At infinity, as you see, the capacitor will be open. So anyway, I zero, let me just put it here. Just I zero at infinity, it's gonna be zero. Okay, so but given this, you can also use general information and you will get the same. 